Southern have failed in running the franchise and they have done everything possible to lay the blame at the door of the RMT, even going to the extremes of alleging that there has been some unofficial industrial action, which is patently untrue. It is about safety, it's about the removal of the operational role from the conductor and the replacement by something called an OBS, an onboard supervisor, who has no safety critical training whatsoever. They're planning on using an in-cab monitor, which for the most part will be on the Southern Service um, uh, rolling stock that is 16 years old. Not state of the art as the Department for Transport uh, continually tries to purvey them uh, and mislead the public. Um, these trains have in-cab monitors that are not as good um, as uh, having a person looking along the length of the train. And therefore there is a reduction um, in safety uh, on the doors and also the removal of all the safety critical features such as protecting a train and putting detonators on the track for, to prevent oncoming trains either running into people or running into the train. Uh, detonator is a small explosive device which alerts a driver of an oncoming train to stop immediately. The guards have 35 different safety functions. Closing doors is one of them. Protecting a train in emergency is another. Evacuating a train in emergency is another one. They're three of the most critical points. But there's also communications. Um, and um, yeah, it's a very vital role, when the, particularly when the driver is incapacitated in a serious event. There was an incident at Walford, and unfortunately it wasn't as bad as it potentially could have been, but it did highlight the fact that both the drivers were incapacitated and the conductors had to take control of the situation and control of the safety of the train. They're determined to try and categorise this dispute as political. Trying to bring down the government is absolutely ridiculous. My election manifesto, I swore I would never use my members for that type of thing, and I will keep my word, and that's mm. a promise. There's been government interference, uh, which we can record going back to June when Patrick McLaughlin, then Transport Minister, arranged a briefing session between Southern and the South East MPs. And that is the politicisation of the dispute. They decided they used their uh, Conservative MPs for the South East to attack the trade union. They were sort of surrogates for the actual Department of Transport, but it is nevertheless a fact.